can see how shaky that is. It's not super stable. Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. As you can see, we're here in my apartment checking out my current setup. Now, this is really, really difficult to set up because what I really wanted was the ideal way to play games make YouTube videos, stream, be able to draw whenever I feel like it, be able to play with friends when friends come over. It's all been kind of complicated and it's been a work in progress that's been changing frequently over time. But I think I finally have a setup that allows me to do all of those things without having to move too many things around. Now, keeping in mind that this has been a work in progress, I actually bought this all at completely different times. And the first thing that I bought was actually this. This is my standing desk. So if you check it out, it's actually a desk that comes up about this high and I can kind of stand at it so that if I want to stand and draw, I can draw on the Huion tablet I've got here. Or I can use this bar stool, which I can actually move over here, get rid of this laptop. I can actually sit down here and actually draw. And I've actually made drawing videos like this on this chair and I can move it. It's got, I can actually change the height. I can have it really, really high or a kind of lower height. And I can draw on the Huion like so with the stylus pen. So that was one of the first things that I actually had. But of course, a standing desk is not ideal for gaming. So hang on a second, let me just put this back down. So as you can see, next to the tablet here on this standing desk is my actual laptop. Now I unboxed this in a previous video. I'll just focus it so you can actually see. This is my Alienware R13 laptop. It's got a GTX 1060 in it, which makes it quite good for gaming fairly good for VR. It's not like super high spec, but it does all the things that I need it to do. And this is actually my machine that I use mainly for streaming as well. So when I need to play games, I have it here on the laptop, or if you can check out down here, I've actually got my PlayStation 4 and my PlayStation 3 sitting here on a shelf. And I also have my Nintendo Switch dock here. Actually, where is my Switch? So right, when I want to play with my Switch, I can actually put it in here, like so. And let me just turn you around here. So I have this BenQ, I think it's an RL2410 or an RLTL2410. It's a 24 inch monitor that allows up to, I think 144 FPS, which is not a frame rate I ever plan to play my games at, but it is capable of it. And something that I really like about this monitor, just a, wangle this out the way. One of the things I really like about this monitor is the fact that I can change the height and the angle so that it sits right on top of my speakers and it kind of reminds me of an arcade setup in the arcades, you know, like the Vulix arcade machine? Because actually one of my main goals with this setup was to buy this tiny little computer desk so that I could have my arcade stick here. In fact, if I wanted to, I could even put my arcade stick on this little shelf here. And the whole idea was to be able to feel like I had my own arcade setup because I've got my arcade stick here and a slightly angled monitor, a bit like a Vulix arcade machine. So that was the main goal here. Now I've got my speakers here. So whenever I'm playing my games, I've got my speakers here. And if there's too much feedback going into the stream, I can actually just plug my headphones into this, these speakers here. Now I can't remember the speakers, the creative, I don't know, 15 watt speakers, maybe less, maybe more. Can't remember what they're called, but they sit nicely right here. Which brings me to this desk. Now, let me just bring you a bit closer. Sorry, it's starting to feel a bit weird having you far away. So if I want to play like an arcade center, I can have it like this. I've got my arcade stick here with speakers here, monitor here. It really feels like a Vulix arcade center. And when I need to use my computer, I can just put my arcade stick off the desk onto this shelf. I can use my computer as necessary. Now this is a new addition as well. This is a three device mouse. So when I'm switching between my laptop computer, which is over there recording Audacity sound right now, or if I need to switch between that and my MacBook Pro, which is also sitting right here. It goes underneath pretty much where I'm gonna put the camera, because I usually put the camera right here. Now you can't show you the camera because I'm using the camera to record, but if you just check out here, this is a standard tripod here. And that's why I put my camera for when I'm recording streams. So I have the camera here, I've got my Twitch chat, on the laptop up there. And I've also got another laptop down here running Streamlabs and other bits and pieces of software. By the way, if you're interested to know what this is, I keep playing with it. It's my Zoom H1. Well, let me just show you. Because I'm using a lapel mic, I have to put this in my pocket, but I'm always, I'm always worried that the 
record button's going to get pressed, and so I've actually sellotaped a piece of a roll of sellotape. I've, I've, I've sellotaped sellotape to this H1. It's like sellotape section, and that prevents me from accidentally pressing the record buttons and switching the recording off. And so I've already previously made a video about this. This is my Corsair gaming keyboard, which also hooks up to two devices at once, so I can have Wi-Fi for the laptop and Bluetooth for the MacBook Pro. I've got a very cheap white hook. I think this costs about $10. This is amazing for when you're streaming and you need to take your headphones off and go and get yourself some apple juice. You really want to be able to just put your headphones somewhere that isn't the floor. And I really love having that right there. And I'm gonna put you a little bit further back. This is actually the newest addition to the whole setup collection is this, it costs literally $12. It costs $12 and it's a shelf. Let me just bring you a little bit closer. All right, so this is the actual arcade stick collection here. And it's on this little table here, which costs literally $12. And I've got the Mad Cats Tournament Edition 2 Plus stick on the top with the changeable artwork. I love that this stick allows you to draw your own work, artwork and put that on there. I've got the Switch. So I'm just gonna turn this around so I can actually see what's going on. I've got my Switch stick over here. This is the red RAP Real Arcade Pro V Hayabusa stick for the Nintendo Switch. You'll remember this from various videos. Now this is one of the first Actually, it's the first large arcade stick that I ever purchased. This is the RAP, it doesn't say, it's just called, it's just called the Real Arcade Pro. It's the PS4077, whatever model number that refers to. Now, I actually had to replace this options button. I think it came a bit loose, but then it still doesn't work. So I need to figure out what's broken on there. But it's got Sanwa buttons and a Hayabusa stick on here, I think. Underneath there is the mix box. I actually really, really like this. I, I don't know if I'm going to always make it like my main controller, but it's a lot of fun to play because it's got this weird D-pad, not D-pad, up, down, left, right, W-S-A-D or W-A-S-D setup. If you haven't seen the video for this, please go and check it out. Now actually, the reason I'm able to put two sticks on, oops, sorry. The reason I'm actually able to put two sticks on here is because I've got my laptop riser. Now I've used, you'll seen this in previous videos as well, but I don't use my laptop riser anymore because it's on the bar stool. But this laptop riser allows me to put two different things on the shelf. So I usually put the mix box down here underneath it and I put the Hori Toho. By the way, I forgot to mention that this, this is special edition artwork for Toho Project. Oh, oops. Toho Project. Just slam that in here without breaking it. And then last but not least, here on the bottom is the newest addition to the collection. It's the special Blaze Blue Cross Pag Battle Edition of the Quanba Drone Stick. So it makes it a little bit more expensive that it's got this custom artwork on it. But I really enjoy, I actually really quite like this stick. Now I haven't, I literally just bought it, so I don't know how long it's going to last, but I do really, really like it. It's, it's a little bit too low. I need to set this a bit higher. And then over here, nothing really, really special, just some extra stuff. I like to have Miku nearby. When I was initially getting set up in this apartment, I actually bought myself a really cheap $10 arm boom stand, and it was trash. And I'll tell you the reason why, because there's one joint right here, and on the really cheap ones, if you tighten it, and get it into exactly the right space you want. When you undo it, the screw has become stripped so that when you tighten it again, it just spins around and around, un you know, until ad infinitum. And so in the end, it doesn't stay in place and the whole time you're streaming, you'll end up with your mic kind of falling down all the time, which is why I've replaced it with what's sitting on here now is the Blue Yeti Pro, I think. This is the microphone I've been using for streaming and for most of my videos. And it sits on, on a road boom mic, probably pro. It's a boom arm by Rode. But I actually really like this stand. It's not super flexible. There are certain places where it can't go. Like if I want it to be right here, it's a little bit difficult to get it there. It's not exactly there, but it's fairly, fairly flexible. I can get it into pretty much anywhere I need it to go. So if I want my mic over here, if I want it to be tilted exactly next to my face while I'm doing my Twitch streams, I can rotate it so it's in exactly the right position like this, or you know, I can even have it from a, sorry, just make sure it doesn't snag, have it sort of podcasty style, mysterious metal thing coming from the sky. So you can have it really anywhere you like it. But this, this stand has been fantastic and it's one of my main things, it's one of the main things that I would recommend if you're getting into streaming. Because, hang on a second, getting a boom arm mic stand for your YouTube or your Twitch setup, 
for streaming or making videos is one of the most important things that I think you can purchase because you want to have no barriers to entry when you're going to make a video. Like we're all really, really busy. We have jobs, or we've got school to go to, we've got stuff to do, families to take care of, and you just want to get that out of the way when you're not using it and then you want it to just come into place. Then you can start recording. You just click record, record, and you're ready to go. Speaking of recording, I forgot to mention that here, I'm, actually, I don't know how far I want that to be. Here at the back, and let me just move you around. What I've got here is an Elgato HD60S. Usually that's got the PlayStation 4 going into it. It connects over USB-C, which is also USB 3.0. It's nice and fast. I use that for recording my gameplay. And this is what I use for recording gameplay when I don't have it, a PC nearby, because this can actually record gameplay without a PC. It's got a PC free mode. But right now it's just recording the GH4, which is my selfie face camera. And one thing I forgot, actually, this is one of my most, this is kind of important. This is a really cheap gaming chair that I bought on Amazon and it costs about $100. It's really trash and it hurts my back and I'm trying to replace it. I don't really recommend it. It looks kind of cool, but my back hurts all the time and it's because it's like got a bucket shape, right? I don't know I don't know if all gaming chairs, chairs do this, but it doesn't have any support at the base of it. And so my back always like ends up like this, which really, really hurts. So I'd prefer if I could, I'm, I'm trying to get a, a chair that actually, whoa! I'm trying to find a chair that actually has a bit more support down here, but I don't want to spend like $300 on my chair. But then again, maybe I should. Sponsorship, hint, hint. Now, while we're looking down here, it's one thing I really want to show you. This is actually two pieces of carpet, which I've actually sellotaped together. It was actually one strip like this and one strip, was it? Or maybe it's four carpet tiles. No, no, it's two. So I actually had two carpet tiles struck, stuck together. You can actually see what shape it's meant to be. There's one down here, but this is actually two different ones stuck together. And the reason is that my, my, when I'm moving this chair around, it's really, really loud. And I really feel bad for my, neighbors. I don't want them to get too pissed off with me and so I have it on a piece of carpet. Hopefully that makes the sound of the rolling of the chair a little bit more, a little bit more quiet, a little quieter. This by the way, this little desk here that you see here for this, this it's just a computer with a keyboard slider desk. This actually costs $40? It was like 4,500 yen, which is like $40, I think. And it's like ideal for this sort of stuff because when I, again, like I mentioned just earlier, if I suddenly want to go into arcade mode, Arcade mode sounds good, doesn't it? When I want to go into arcade mode, just slide it over like so, and then boom, I'm in arcade mode. How sick is this? Now, the only thing that's a shame is, check this out. See how shaky that is? It's not super stable. Like, uh, the one thing that would be much, much nicer would be if I had a more high quality version of this this computer desk. But for now, since I don't really play in arcade mode most of the time, I usually play with the, the arcade stick on my lap, like so. It's actually not a problem because obviously when it's on my lap, it doesn't affect the desk, it doesn't shake or too, too much or anything. All right, so when I'm streaming for Twitch or even when I'm streaming for YouTube or when I'm even just making normal videos, I like to have this angle here and it actually looks a bit like this. I'm just going to record with my iPhone, but essentially I've got the GH4 with what is what I think it's a 25 no it's a 15 millimeter lens but because it's a two times crop on the GH4 it means it's actually the equivalent of a 30 millimeter lens at full frame but that's the camera I've got sitting on this very standard it was like $30 it's a slick tripod this is a $100 purchasable separately power cable for the GH4 and the reason I use it is because the GH4 doesn't get as hot and also because you can record until infinity basically because when I'm streaming you know you need to do multiple hours and if I had to change the battery on the GH4 all the time that would be too much of a bother. Anyway one more thing that goes on here is the HDMI cable and I do this with one hand unlikely. I just plug the cable in here and I can't because because it's currently recording I can't do it but normally I would plug in the HDMI cable and that would just sit there and then I would just have it ready like this while I'm streaming and in the end, it all looks a bit like this. I've got the video game screen here. I've got what was recorded on the selfie camera up there. And of course, I'm not actually looking at this screen. Usually I'd have this screen over here so I can read the chat on my laptop. But then on this screen here, what I've got is usually just the games, just the HDMI through, the pass through from the video game onto this screen. And I just play as normal. And what I really like about this setup is that I can, any time I want, just flick over here to the Huion 
do a bit of drawing on a completely separate desk that's not like the gaming desk and then come back over here and just continue whatever I was doing and go back to gaming. Here I just love that I can put all of my sticks on this tower, this tower of sticks. It's just so awesome to have all the different sticks available. Got laptop down here on this bar stool which is actually actually really ideal for as a, as a stand for a laptop. But definitely having it in the corner of the room has really worked out well because now I have a lot more space over there to do VR stuff and all the computer stuff can just stay out of the way and not jut out of the wall. I think feng shui wise, it all kind of feels a little bit of this way as well. Anyway, I'd love to do a more detailed tour that actually talks about all of this apartment and how I'm using it for YouTubing and streaming. For now, I don't have any more time. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, this very, very brief look at my setup here for the YouTube channel, for the Twitch channel, for streaming in general, for just playing games with friends, for drawing, for all the stuff that I like to do, getting really, really close to 200,000 subs. So do let me know what you'd like to see in the celebratory 200,000 subscriber live stream. Assuming we actually make it to 200,000 now, it is entirely possible that everyone could just click the unsub button right before we get to 200,000. But if we do actually get to 200,000 subscribers, I will be doing a celebratory live stream, hopefully with coffee, hopefully with drawing, hopefully with arcade stick art, that's really important to me. Hopefully with, I don't know, we could play some Capcom versus SNK2 if you wanted. Anyway, it's gonna be a lot of fun and I can't believe, I can't believe we, we got this far. It's been, it's been eventful. A lot of stuff has happened, but I'm really happy with the setup that we've got right now. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share the links and all that great stuff. And I will see you in the next new tube video, new tube video, the, the next YouTube video, or the next Twitch stream, or wherever it is I see you. So, see you next time.